Hey, everybody. Happy freaking summer! Yes! Oh, God. Oh, God. This is going to be a good video. I'm feeling it. I'm feeling it here. All right. Today, I'm going to teach you how to jailbreak the iPod Touch second generation. No, not firmware 2.2.1. Firmware 3.0. Holy shit, muffins! That is a good firmware. That that is the firmware. That's a good firmware. Uh, anyway, you know, some of you might watch my videos more frequently. I'm not gonna say obsessed with my videos, but some of you who watch them more frequently might notice that I don't have an iPod Touch 1G anymore. I have an iPod Touch 2G because I I like things. Anyway, all right. So uh, let's get this party started. Uh, first off, you're going to need to download a program called Red Snow off the iPhone dev team. Uh, I'll have links to the right of this video, wherever the description box is. I don't know which way is right. Uh, anyway, if you're a torrent guy, there's a torrent link. If you're a direct download guy, like pretty much everyone is, uh, there's going to also be a link there. Uh, there's also going to be a link for Windows. So, uh, Granted, everything that I say here may or may not work in Windows, so don't, don't, don't get mad at me if it doesn't work for your Microshaft computer. Anyway, all right. So, download it, extract it, and then open it. Uh, there should be a Red Snow app inside of your extracted folder. Any of you just wondering that little thing that I just did right there? That is called Quicksilver. It is the best app I have ever downloaded. If I could use a computer with one app on it, that would be it. Although it wouldn't be very useful if that was the only thing. Like, anyway, whatever. I really like Quicksilver. All right, so go to the folder that you just extracted from the Red Snow hyphen Mac hyphen zero point seven dot zip folder. Sorry, didn't need to really say that. So uh, open up that folder, and there should be a program called Red Snow just hanging out over there right below the readme, the license, and the credit files. doesn't really matter the position of it. Anyway, read the readme file just because, but you know, you shouldn't really need to because I'm going to teach you how to do all this. All right, so click on Red Snow. Uh, before you do any of this, make sure you know where the uh, .ipsw file is for your 3.0 firmware. Uh, it should be fairly easy to find. Just click on Browse and Red Snow and then type in IP. SW, and then uh, whichever one has the dot .3.0 in the middle should be the right one. Uh, if you have an iPod and an iPhone, make sure that it says iPod 2, uh, comma 1, you know, exactly like this one. So click on it, and then click on Open. Then it will process your firmware. Uh, there we go. That was easy. Then click on Next. Uh, it should go a lot slower, but I've done this once or twice. So uh, make sure city is checked. Click next, and this part. All right. So if your device is not already plugged in, plug it in. Granted, right now I'm just reading off that, but maybe you want to hear it in my voice. Uh, plug it in, and then turn it off. So make sure that it's plugged in, and then turn it off. Don't turn it off and then plug it in. Plug it in, then turn it off. All right. So it's plugged in. Hold down the power button, which is right there, and then, there we go, now, sorry, it's hard to, BAM, there we go, alright, now this is going to be the hardest part, so, I gotta, gotta get ready for this, alright, so, it's turned off now, and uh, this is going to be the hardest part, I gotta get ready for this, so, you need to act quickly now, because when you press next, it's going to give you a series of commands that you have to do very quickly. So, I might even screw up, so. Alright, um, I'm not going to read all this aloud, but I just... I'm trying to... Oh, oh my gosh, it's working. Oh, okay, cool. So, uh, that just put it into DFU mode. Now, all that just happened, uh, it might have seemed a little bit quick, and I didn't comment on it. So, uh, don't worry about it. Just, you can try again, and there we go. Gosh, I'm happy. 
You know, I actually didn't do any takes on this, so... <sighs> this is this video is going well. Alright, so it's jailbreaking now, and I've never jailbroken 3.0, so it's also going well. See, that's how good I am. I can just, like, bam, and first try it'll go good. Alright, cool. So now it's reloading. Uh, if it takes that long of a time, I'll just skip the video. Like, trim it, so it's not that long. Uh... There we go. Big job. It worked. I have I have Cydia on my here. I'm wondering if this is better for looking at my iPod. I don't know. This camera's bad. Now you can use the built-in uh, search feature to search for Cydia. See why? And there we go. Cydia right there. Click on it opens it up. I don't know if I have internet down here, but uh, no, I don't. Or maybe I do. No, I don't have internet. But when I do, I can download apps from Cydia, and it should be jolly good. Anyway, alright guys, this was How to Jailbreak Firmware 3.0 on your iPod Touch. Second generation! Have a good day, people. Uh, if you want to ask me a question, Twitter me. Oh, send me a direct message on Twitter or a reply um, at twitter.com slash ponytutorials. If you do that, uh, your question will most likely be answered. Also, follow me on Twitter. Um, if you want to email me, ponytutorials at gmail.com. If you want to read my blog, technosexuality.tumblr.net, I think. Anyway, I'll have all those links to your right, whichever one's right. All right, guys, have a splendid afternoon. And I'm off to the beach. Peace.